everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we're going to play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 50 of Ark Survival Evolved, and uh, this is day 11. Day 11 is just starting, and we spent most of day 10 uh, going around the Redwood Forest Island, uh, hunting dire bears and the Mescalone, something like, they are the, like, the ancient uh, ancestors of the modern day elk and both of them yield a few pelts and we had that's why you spent most of day 10 hunting those things down going around the fringes of the uh, rain the redwood forest area where they are and collecting their pelt and we needed 420 of those to make this fur fur Garments. This is the this is the chest piece. Uh, these are the boots. That's the head piece. Uh, that's the leg piece. That is the chest piece, and those are the gauntlets. So five pieces of those required about 420 pelts. So it took a while. It took the most of most of day 10 to make that. And the real reason what we want to do that is that we want to go up to the northern part where it is like frigid country. We we went there before, but uh, it was too cold for us, and we couldn't. We start take uh, we we start taking physical damage, and so without that kind of protection, we cannot get there. And that's the reason why uh, I dedicated day ten to doing uh, to gathering pelts. This is different from hides. Uh, the pelt comes with some kind of apparently some fur. Anyway, so what I'm doing is I'm going to get our team. This time I'm going to bring the whole team of, oh, uh, a whole team of fairies to get us. Wow, she is, uh, okay. We can continue to level. We can get our team of fairies to go out there and care. Oh, I should have put it into more weight because... I want them to carry more stuff, right? So let's put more weight so they can carry more stuff. And oh, uh, I, I, anyway, so so that means we will again retrace our route along the shoreline, uh, going west, and then from the west head up north. Or anyway, let's see how how we do because oh wait and I need to uh, remove all their make sure that their behavior uh, harvest settings is disabled because we don't want them overloaded harvest settings yeah they're all disabled no no not options harvest setting and yeah so they are all Okay, so what we can do now is hopefully get these guys to follow us. Can they hear us from here? Follow all. Okay, so we are a party of four. So here, remember, we can just... Oh, yeah, we can destroy almost anything and we are large so it's easier to keep track of the yeah it's easier to keep track of these people following us or these are dinosaurs that are following us so okay let's follow the curve of the island and since we got all of those turned off yeah that's cool this easier when we had the raptors following us a lot of they keep getting hung up on these on these things right so here we're just going through anything and everything and hopefully Oh. 
we will also pick up a l experience along the way. Yep, yep. I'm I'm excited going around with this. Uh, it's all heavy tank, except Thea too. Thea too is a little bit on the weak side. She has only like, she has the lowest hit points uh, in the group. So uh, we need to be careful uh, how we when we meet up with an alpha or something. Uh, yep, look at them. Cool. So those are the only guys following us. So we're co we're coming out with a full, not a full party of uh, fairies, but almost right. We still left the original, like uh, the parents of all of these. And these are all offsprings. Like Thor one and Thor two are offsprings, and Thea one and two are also offsprings. Now, regrettably, we didn't know how to do any cooking yet. So that's another area we have not really explored cooking. Is that uh, Thea too, as part of her imprinting process, wanted like exceptional kibble. And I have no idea how that thing is done. Ooh, oh, this is deep, right? Uh, I don't want to chance that because if it's very deep, then there's a chance that there are, what do you call this? Uh, the Megalodon, Meg, the Meg, yeah, those, uh, those, wait, wait, we're hot. Let's get off our, let's get off our dino. So hopefully, yeah, in this, uh, rivers, we will not encounter a Meg. So even with our, I know even T-Rexes cannot stand up to Megs. So our theories definitely will not be able to stand up to them either. So we're taking kind of a roundabout way doing this. Okay. Yeah, let's use the internal waterways. Right, these are internal waterways, so these will not... Oh, this is still deep enough. This is still deep. But not that deep that... Okay, what island is that? Next one. Okay, okay, let we can skirt that. Okay, we can follow the shoreline on that one. Let, let's follow this uh, shoreline here. Yeah, they're much easier to keep track of. The uh, yeah, the raptors are too small, and they easily get hung up. Okay, are we still following the shoreline? Well, I don't see any uh, Titanoboas trying to uh, 
bite us anymore. <laughs> Maybe uh, a quad of fairies represents enough. Oh, I see a titan a boa. Yes, I see that. Oh, it's just a level three. Jeez. Can we even get in there? I mean... Yeah, this is the marshland or this swampland. Baryonyx. What's that thing we're hearing? Okay. Oh, there it is. It's only level one, jeez. And we got a uh, leech stuck to one of our tames. Are we still far skirting the shoreline? Oh, I think we need to go across. Okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we need to go across. Okay. We can't see anything. Level sixteen. Level 16. Okay, uh... Okay, are we headed in the right direction? Okay, we need to cut right across. Is that a fairy? It's a 
level 19. Oh, another Dilo? Okay, we have a, a leech on on one of our dinos. Not her. One of these guys. Yep. We still have the leech on us, so another one of them. And she has leveled up. This is Thea 2. Yeah, this is the partially, yeah, this is the one that we did not fully uh, get to. Okay, let's see. Uh, I mean, 100% uh, imprinting. So she is the weak one of the group. Now I've lost my sense of direction. No, we want to head in that area. I don't see anything. Whoa. What is this place? Yeah, I don't know how deep that thing is. I'm targeting that thing. Come on, you guys. Oh, it's a level three. Level four. Level eight. <laughs> They're all really really low levels okay we're headed towards the uh, shoreline so that makes sense Pro problem is all this uh, growth oh that's a tech dinosaur Go boys and girls Stego level 4 Where is the other one Wow okay Directional check Okay we are almost At the shoreline I can't see anything. Oh, the smaller one. I think, was that a Trudon? Level 60 Trudon? Ouch. I can't see anything. What? I don't want us to be falling off a cliff right here. Because we're getting close to the beach. Whoa! Just as I was saying it, yeah, we... We could have fallen up. Jeez!
come on. I can't see a thing. I can't see a thing. You know, maybe it's better just to follow the uh, the beach. Wow. Okay. Parasaur is only twelve. Jeez. Yeah, we have been here uh, in an earlier episode. Are we still complete? Yeah. We didn't lose anyone, right? Okay. Twenty-eight Parasaur. Level sixteen. I guess we're not getting much experience from these guys, are we? You know that big long island right there to our left? I think that would make a good base for us because it's relatively flat. It's a big sized area. Maybe we can have an alternate base right here. I mean in on that island because if we look at the map it's a big spit of land and it looks relatively flat so if we have we set up a base there we can easily cut off like a big segment of it Because right now, uh, so that means that allows us to flit from one. Let's say we are from the current uh, current central area. We can actually, yeah. I mean, when we have the when we have a bed set up. What? A level 12 Pargo mas Pago Master? Haha! <laughs> Jeez! That is suicidal! Like, maybe I should be mining some of the rocks here so that we can establish a base on that next island. See, it's relatively flat. Look at that long spit of land. Okay, let's. Uh, that's something worth considering, so that we have an alter alternative base, so that when we come here to farm the uh, the northern or the frigid zone or the frozen biome, uh, we have a short stop. I mean, we have a fabricator here that uh, we can use. What's wrong with you guys? So I thought only the little guys have a problem. Even you guys have a problem. So all of these, uh, like, washed up trees or whatever, they pose a problem even for fairies? I think over here was the last time we were here. We saw a uh, spinal, or two of them, in fact. 
one was like a level 28 or, or level something yeah in the 20s and one was like a level 12 or something so so I don't think uh, we are threatened by by a spino at this point in time we got four big uh, ooh, oh this is a white one this just spawned no uh, we don't want white ones they're common And we can easily turn on. Ooh. We can easily turn on the uh, harvesting, so that if we need wood and stuff like that, we can. Okay. Hey guys, take care of that guy. What? Ovi Raptor. Why are you not... Why don't you want to target that thing? What's the level of that thing? Ooh, it's a feet What's a level 60? Uh, I think... Okay, I think... No wonder. Maybe we should not tackle that one. Yeah, I don't think we should tackle that one. Let's avoid her. That's a level 60, you know? Uh, the le highest level we got was like a... Where is one of our guys? Where, where's that idiot guy? I thought we cannot... B, jeez. Man. Okay, this, there goes our timer. And, um, okay, we need to cross that body of water. I think that was where we saw a spiner before, spino before. Okay, uh, okay, this trek has not been exciting. Okay, I think uh, I will continue to march onward. Oh, what's this one? I'll continue to mount. matter with these Pego Masters? They're tiny guys and uh, why are they attacking? Why are they attacking? I think we were up high in the hills before. Okay, so this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye.